Acá lo que mi gente, my name is Den River and oh, I'm over here working and I'm just so exhausted. I don't know if it was the food, but look at this. They made some tamales. I think that's what I call Junior. ¿Cómo que se llama eso? Tamal, tamalitos. I didn't have that, but I had something else. I ended up having just chicken and rice. I mean, it's done, so I'm not gonna show it because it doesn't really look good after you eat it. But pretty much just took chicken and I seared it. I seasoned it. Then I seared it in a hot pan just to give it some color. And then I added, I turned down the, uh, the heat to as low as I can. Then I added some marinara sauce and, and some heavy cream. Added some peppers to it, some stuff, and just let it marinate and slow cook. And it was so, so good. We actually have a Chinese spot next door, so I just bought rice from there. The rice has made me, you know when you eat a lot of carbs, it just makes you feel like, ugh, so bloated and fat and gross. I just want to take a nap right now. And one thing about being on the road is that, at least for me, it's hard to stay healthy. Only because I work at a restaurant. Um, so, <laughs> there's pizza, there's strambolis, there's cheese steaks, pasta. In my face, 24-7. It's hard to make the decision to not eat any of it. I actually went on a diet. Um, so, one of my goals is to hit 200 pounds. I go up and down the scale all the time, or at least when I was stable, in a house. And what I used to do was, I used to intimate fast. So, I used to give myself a four-hour window to eat. So let's say between 2 and 6 p.m. Between those times were the only times that I can eat. I That worked for me because it's hard for me to give up certain food. So if I can limit the amount of calories by eating less and maybe just having one meal, one big meal, that could work for me. Because it's all about calories in, calories out. I didn't have a problem with my hunger. So I would eat at 2, let's say have a huge meal then uh, got a customer one second okay so where did I leave off um, oh yeah so intimate fasting it's easier for me to eat one big meal and just not eat for the rest of the day so let's say I would eat at two I would be huge meal be bloated whatever then at four I would have maybe another meal and then I wouldn't eat again so I would go to sleep, wake up. Now, we we'll wake up around eight o'clock. I have what, like 14 hours without eating. I would go to the gym in a fasted state and then I wouldn't eat till two. So because of that, I was always burning calories and I was doing high intensity workouts. Now it's harder for me to do that and I wanted to try something different. Um, I guess I wanted to cut out all the carbs because that's what I really love. I guess it's almost like a keto diet, but I'm not really thinking about it as a keto diet. I'm just cutting out carbs, or at least having as little of it as possible. And because of that, my body is going into a ketosis state and burning all the fat. I also run a mile every single day, so that helps with my exercise. Even though, by the way, that's going very, very good. But now when I finish running a mile every single day for 30 days, I'm gonna start working out. So I'm gonna start building muscle. And muscle weighs more than fat. So I don't know how achievable 200 will be because I wanna build muscle. But let's see how it goes. One thing that is very beneficial, if you wanna live this lifestyle and you're gonna get a job, it's better for you to get a job. It's not better, but I recommend to get a job at a restaurant where you get free food or at least you get a discount on your food. What's up, Junior? Hi, Mike. Oh, uh, you get a discount on your food because food costs a lot. And if you can reduce or get rid of your grocery money, you can save a lot of money on the road. I haven't had to pay for food or buy food since I left. If I bought anything, it was just here and there just because I, I wanted some chocolates or whatever. But I haven't had to buy any food. And if you can cut down $100, $200 a week, it can be very, very beneficial for your finances while you're living on the road. And essentially, it can extend 
the life of your event life. Uh, so if you're saving $200 a week, after three months, that money can go towards gas or insurance, which could help you live in your van for a couple of more months. That's something that I thought about before leaving, that if I was gonna get a job, it would preferably be at a restaurant because of either free food or discounted food. Now, when it comes to eating healthy, this is a topic I don't really like to talk about only because healthy is different for everyone. Wapa, what did you do? He just... <laughs> so, being healthy means something different to everybody. And generally, yes, there's a healthy and unhealthy. But for example, if my goal is to be a bodybuilder, my type of healthy or diet plan would be different than somebody who's just has a nine to, nine to five job and is just trying to live a long life. But generally, everybody knows what's healthy to eat and what's not healthy to eat. Uh, chicken Caesar salad versus a medium pizza. <laughs> most people, or I hope most people, because I know common sense ain't common anymore, would say that the Caesar salad is a lot healthier than the medium pizza. Generally, you want to stay away from these type of foods, and you generally want to go for these type of foods. You see my struggle? Imagine seeing this coming out nice, fresh, and hot every day. It's no point. Look, more pizza than like it's so hard to control myself. And I can't eat most of the stuff here because I'm in a low to no carb diet. And really the only thing I have to go with is this area right here. And I don't know if this has carbs, which is marinara sauce, but I know it's not healthy because it has a lot of fat in it. But I just like to experiment. I just take some chicken and dice it up and put marinara sauce with some spinach on it. So onions or whatever with that i'm going to call it a day if you guys like what you see like comment share and subscribe until the next video adios